Welcome to Three Minutes with ARC-2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our nuclear survival complex. This video is about the effects of radiation. In a previous video, I've explained that an adult healthy male can receive up to 200 R of radiation without any feeling of ill effects. However, 50% of people who receive within a short time 400 R will die, and 100% of people who receive within a short time 600 R will die. Radiation sickness is a terrible way to die. It is said that with seasickness, you at first think you're going to die, and then as it becomes worse, you wish that you would. Radiation sickness is much worse. In the event of nuclear war, there will be very little in the way of facilities or resources to treat those with radiation sickness. There will certainly not be enough of what we consider modern medical facilities. My only recommendation is to avoid the nuclear war. If an adult man gets 100 rankings per hour, or about 5 hours, he will be dead within 2 weeks. In case of nuclear war and not taking shelter, that will be the result for many. Getting too much radiation, but not enough to kill you right out, can still very much shorten one's life and cause horrible deadly cancers later in life which is another reason you want to be sure to have adequate shelter from fallout. But enough of the gloomy side of radiation and the hysterical talk about that any radiation will kill you. We have now discovered that some radiation is good for you. This discovery came about by accident when some of the steel buildings destroyed by atomic bombs in Japan were accidentally recycled to the U.S. to be used in a housing project. Half of the buildings had the radioactive steel, and half did not. And this was an excellent opportunity to measure the effects because the demographics of the occupants were identical. Much to the surprise of the researchers, the occupants of the buildings with the radioactive steel got less cancer. This led the researchers to examine other situations. They found that those who live in the mountains, in Colorado, and nearer to the sun with less atmospheric filtering, get less cancer than those who live on the seashores, like in New Jersey. They found that airline pilots and stewardesses, who spend a lot of time, even higher yet, also get less cancer than the rest of the population. There were other examples. The bottom line is, some radiation, like some arsenic, is good for you. Arsenic is considered a deadly poison, but if you don't get some, you will die. On average, everyone on this planet gets 23 microronkins per hour from the cosmic background of the stars. Okay, well this reminds me of the story of the alien who came to visit this planet. And his commanders had told him when he was coming to this planet, this planet is very unusual. It's covered with water. Now, we don't have any water on our planet, so we know you don't know about that. But water can be very dangerous. And many people die of drowning on that planet every year. So be careful about water. So. This alien buzzes off to planet Earth, lands in his spaceship here, and he hops out and he says, take me to your leader. And they take him in, the president. The president says, well, look, let's have dinner. And so they're sitting down at this beautiful table with all the linen and the crystal and everything on. And here comes somebody up, starts to pour a glass of water towards the alien. And the alien says, what's that? And the fellow says, why? That's water. 
and the alien jumps up from the table and says, what are you trying to do? Kill me? <laughs> Thank you for watching. And please remember that Arc 2 is not just about your survival. It's about service to humanity and preparing to reconstruct society.